This is the most overpowered defense to use in Madden 24. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive in it. It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks and tons of interceptions all game. So if you want to see what overpowered new defense I'm using the results like this. Got it. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The place that I'll be using in today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top hand comment. In today's gameplay, I'll be going up against two of the best offenses in the game, starting with Justin Jefferson and the Minnesota Vikings. The defensive scheme that I'll be adding to today is once again my 3-4 odd, as this is one of the only two defenses that I use and I still feel it's probably the best defense in the game. But I have two new coverages that I have been using lately that I think might be the best in this formation. If you have been following this series, you might know that the very first two plays that I put out from this defense have pretty much been become the meta for a lot of people in the cover four drop and the pinch bug zero. And these two plays are still important in my overall scheme as I keep them in my audibles. With the pinch bug zero being the best blitz for pass defense and the cover four being the best run defense as well as best around the goal line. But in today's video, I'm gonna add what I think might be the best coverage in the salt blitz one and what might be the best base defense in the cover cover six as i'll put all four of these plays in my audibles and cycle through them throughout most of the game as always the most important coaching adjustment is to put the auto alignment to base so that we can hide these new coverages in with the old ones and they will all look the same pre-snap taking away my opponent's ability to diagnose my coverage and set up a play for it on the first play I call cover 6 and the best part of this play is that there really is no setup required at all but I have a lot of options. On this first play all I do is pinch the D line so I can take away any inside run lanes and base align so that the zone coverage alignment is in front of their receivers. And he passes on the first play but nothing is open except for the running back. You sure about that? But we're all over that as we bait him on the very first play to take it back for pick 6. Do it. And Kirk Coupons is pissed after that. You like so he is coming out firing on the next series as he completes it underneath to the running back for a big play before trying to hurry me up and hitting me with a run play for seven. He lets it go back to the huddle before trying it again, but this leaves me just a little bit more time to set up my run defense. One of the best things about cover six as a base defense is that half of the coverage is cover two and the other half is cover four. Now cover four safeties, if you don't know, will come down and play the run first as long as you don't gas pass, making cover four the premier run defense. But it's usually weak against outside runs as the cornerbacks drop back taking themselves out of the play which makes cover two hard flats best for outside run defense and this defense has both making it the best of both worlds when it comes to stopping the run so on the next play if i want to kick my run defense up a bit all i have to do is pinch the entire defense by hitting the right bumper or the r1 button and down the left stick and it will bring everyone down to the box as well as closing up any inside run lanes and we shut him down on the next play before he hurries me up to try it again so since he needs two and i have my hard flat set to five in the coaching adjustments i will pinch the defense again and hard flat this time for better outside run defense but this time he passes and I would say the weakest part of this defense is the cover two safety side as all this guy really does is not let anyone get behind him as he gets inside the red zone and hurries me up once again. So anytime someone is getting comfortable or finding a rhythm against one of my coverages, I just simply switch to another and give them a different look. And this time since he's under center, I go to the pinch bug zero, which is perfect. As all I have to do is pinch the entire defense once again and the pressure gets in forcing an incomplete pass. Woo! He comes down to shotgun on the next play as he needs six to get the first. So we pinch our defense once again and switch back to the cover six with hard flats to protect against the first down. From here, I want to go full coverage on this play. So I'm going to use her the blitzing outside linebacker and only send three as we shut everything down once again and he forces a pass into a tight window. <laughs> that gets intercepted. On offense, I'll once again be using my gun wing flex offset. I already have made a full breakdown of this offense, but I will be focusing mostly on the defense in today's video. So if you guys want to see more, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. I start this drive on the hash mark, which is perfect as my opponent is in a clear cover three. So I immediately switch to the PA double post that I put out a couple days ago and put everyone on streaks except for the B tight end route. Break yourself, fool! That splits the defense for one of the easiest one play touchdowns you will ever see. 
Now up 14 0, my opponent comes out firing once again, picking up a big play on a drag. We send the heel in the next play, and he barely gets it away over the middle to get into a fourth and three at midfield that he decides to go for once again. But since he has been beating me over the top of my blitz, I decide to throw him a curveball by showing him the blitz setup and then zoning all linebackers. And it does confuse him as he holds the ball again this time before trying to hit that drag once again. Gotcha, bitch! And now we have two pick sixes with both starting middle linebackers. In fact, three to four starting linebackers all have interceptions with over a minute left in the first quarter. Every time I score on defense, my opponent just gets more aggressive, running a faster hurry up and throwing deeper down the field to try to score in a hurry. And that's all well and good until he actually gets down the field and now I got him trapped in a phone booth as we no longer have to worry about deep coverage. And since he is only passing now, I can guess pass to make this blitz even faster. <laughs> as both linebackers get the sack before he can even fake the handoff. On the next play, I want to give him a new look, so I switch to the cover one saw for the first time. This play really isn't that much different from the pinch bug zero, as I will still pinch the defense, but I just find the coverage you get from cover one is much better, as we blitz all linebackers once again and get a sack to end the quarter and possibly the game. But this guy doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. So on 3rd and 24, we set up the saw blitz once again. In this defense, we have to base the line so that the receivers are all covered. And if I want to blitz all linebackers again, it means that I have to watch the tight end and the running back myself, which is okay since he needs 24 yards, and neither of them are likely to get that on their own. But this is a prevent defense anyway. No soup for you. Because we get the knockout and a turnover on downs. Back on offense, he comes out in a cover three once again. So since we're already on a hash mark, it's time to go back to the best cover three one play touchdown in the game. Break yourself, fool! as the Eagles always seem to dominate the Vikings for some reason. I go back to the Saul Blitz 1, and he finally sees that his running back is uncovered, so in the next play, I don't blitz all linebackers this time, and he has nowhere to go, as everything is locked up on the next two plays to get him to a third and ten before I get stuck on the block to let his tight end get away to get to a fourth and one that he has to go for. <laughs> My next game starts against an even better offense in the Kansas City Chiefs, but this game starts out with the computer picking a defense for me while I'm still setting everything up, and in my confusion, I forgot to man someone to the slot receiver pre-snap to give up a wide open touchdown on the very first play. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. So not the best start, but I just wanted to point out that he didn't score against my defense. On offense, he gets me into a fourth and long pretty fast in my own territory, but I decide to go for it. <laughs> as we are having a much harder time going down the field against this opponent's defense. As we are getting a lot of pressure affecting a lot of throws. Where you going? Before I get into another fourth down situation. Damn it! Back on defense now, we have to worry about him going up two scores. But he also has to worry about me scoring on defense as we get another pick six from my cover six. Only this time it was a gift from Darius Slay, as he is now coming out under center looking to run the ball. So I blitz all linebackers and shut down the inside run. No Before Kelsey beats his man for the first on a check and release that isn't even supposed to beat man. And now that's his offense, Kelsey the cheat code, who does things no other tight end can do as he carries him all the way down the field target after target before he finally gets someone else involved to get inside the 10. My best red zone defense like I said earlier is usually cover 4 as this gives me the most coverage in the end zone and also the best run defense. I have to watch Kelsey though nope, as we almost get an interception. He comes out heavy on the next play so we run commit and we're lucky that he took the check down before he tries to go back to Kelsey one more time in the end zone Fuck you! to throw a pick and end the threat. From here, my opponent is now running cover 6-2 as I dink and duck my way down the field before I read a man cover 1 and switch to the stick knot vertical as this corner route roasts a variety of different man coverages Thank you. and we take the lead back. With just over a minute left and a half, I go back to cover 6 one more time and fake the blitz, but I am only watching one man on this field. Fire! Yeah! As we bait him and drop under Kelsey for the game ceiling interception as we get another rage quit. So if that's it, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber if you want to see more. And if you want to see more from the offense or coaching adjustments I was using in this video, I will have them popping up on screen. So until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.